invite a few friends over tonight. You should really clear with me first. I needed someone to talk to, so I called Remy. You know, you can always talk to your brother if you need to talk. He canceled. Hey. Sorry that I missed the memorial. I wasn't sure you wanted me there. Yeah, well, it's over now. So, uh, Hilda just said something about a party. I am taking your advice. Oh, yeah? I don't remember advising you to have a party. Well, you did say that I haven't been paying attention to things, little things like my life, and I decided to get involved and invite a few friends over tonight. The pool. Really? Tonight? Hmm. Yeah, and you're invited. You know, Donna, you can't go to the staff every time you have a whim. You should really clear it with me first. Staff is, um, a very good staff. And you're right. Uh, we should probably, uh... Check in with each other, make sure that everything is kosher. So is it? Have your party. Okay. Mm. Anything else I should clear with you? Mm. Guest list. I think I, I'm going to need to know who's going to be here. The press is watching my every move, so that would be helpful. I'm not sure who's coming yet. Mm. Make a list. Would you prefer I type that list? No, no. Ink will be fine. Okay. How long has this been going on? Since June. So you have been sneaking around on me for three months? What? Me? I'm on this one with you. Who? Rick. Was it Rick? Oh, are you don't kidding you me? What you're making no, no, think I know what she thinks. Thinking. No, Elizabeth, your mother has been taking... Law oh, classes. Horrors. Yes. That's amazing. Yeah, th thank you. Thank you. It's just a few classes at night, but a couple they only offer during the day. So I signed up. Which I would never have known of if I hadn't found your textbooks. Now she has abandoned Peyton. Oh, don't, don't go there with me. All your other children were raised by nannies, and this is a few hours a day. But Beth, I thought you wanted to stay home with Peyton. I do. I do. Which is why I haven't left yet, because... Well, this is tearing me up inside. Well, then just stay home and it won't. Alan, can't you understand that this is something I need to do for me? Okay, that's it. I'm taking her. What? what? Well, it's hard to let go of your child, even if it is only for a few hours. And so I'll take her to the babysitter. Is this the babysitter's address? Well, I, yes. I don't but, know uh, if that's... Yeah, you know, Mom, you won't have to, to say goodbye. Okay? And that is a big deal, and, and it's hard, and some moms can't do it. And I think it would be really good for Sarah to get used to other people. Peyton, not... Peyton, go to school. Have a great time. It's great. Everything will be fine. Um... This is going to be great. This is... You are going to love Mrs. Jones. You know something, Peyton... Having a babysitter gives you independence. It's like a like a play date with the grown-up who acts like a kid, so it'll be really fun. Yeah. This looks like that place that Hansel and Greta were stuffed in that oven, doesn't it? Wait, are there those rabid dogs? There are rabid dogs across the street? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? We don't have to go in yet. No, we don't have to go in yet. Let's go out to breakfast. That's what we should do. Let's have a little sister time. How late's the party going to go, Till? Well, I'm going to have everybody out the door before your bedtime. Okay. No tabloid reporters, right? Oh, just the mirror. Oh. Oh. No mallet? No. He's not invited. Why? Because we're over and I don't want to talk about it. Hmm. Fine. Just uh, don't add anybody, okay? Okay. Are you coming? Mm, can't. I have plans. I'd really like you to be there. So if you can free up whatever you're doing. No, no, no. What is this? Okay, it's getting late. I should take you back. <laughs> Ice cream. That's a very good idea. I can't take you back until we have ice Hello. cream. Hello. Oh, hey, Aunt Alex. What are you doing here? Well, actually, I'm, I'm looking for Alan. And you? Oh, um, I am 
I'm supposed to take Peyton to the babysitter, but you know, it's it's early, so. <laughs> Busy? What's going on? The babysitter, I'm sure she's a really great lady, but <laughs> mom is having some serious separation anxiety. Uh -huh. And uh, you know, this woman is a complete and total stranger. And Peyton is so tiny. I mean, it's not like she could call if something went wrong or she needed something or she wanted a hug or, you know, it's hard for a mother to let go of, of her little girl. Mom's just having a, a real hard time because she wants to keep her safe and she wants to see her at every minute. And it's not like she can carry her around with her until she's in. Well, like maybe 40, huh? Uh, <laughs> I was going to say five. Ah. <laughs> well. Hey. <laughs> well, Lizzie, is there anything I can do? No, no, I, you know, it's natural to, for mom to feel this way. She just has to get up the courage and deal with it and <laughs> let go. Yes, well, I'm not worried about anyone in this family lacking for courage, and that means you too, darling. <laughs> and you too, Peyton. <laughs> <laughs> Hansel and Gretel got away, just so you know. Okay, well, nobody's home. We should go. Well, this must be Peyton. I was afraid you got lost. Come in, come in. Uh, what's going on over here? I needed someone to talk to, so I called Remy. Oh, sis, you know, you can always talk to your brother if you need to talk. Didn't see his name on the uh, party list. It is now. Is it? Yeah. It's good. I'm glad you could find the time to party now that there's no real responsibilities. Not even worth it, man. We still on? Absolutely. It's what... my life. Mm. So you were with my Nana at Cedars in the neo natal unit. That's good. Uh, how many babies do you think you've cared for over all your years? Hundreds. Yeah. You're probably burnt out. You know, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Your time. I love babies. Now, why don't you come in and I'll make you some tea? I'm sorry. I just, I can't. I just can't. Look, Peyton. Look at the swans. Aren't they cute? You know, Sarah loved swans. Oh, you know what? The next time we come here, we should feed them. Hey. Hey. Hey there, Peyton. <laughs> I was supposed to drop her off at the babysitters today, oh. but I got there and she was really old. <laughs> no, she was. I, I, it looked like she was going to have a stroke oh. at any minute, and I just don't think that she could take care of Sarah. Sarah? Peyton. 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 Yeah. And, and, and mm. she looked like one of those ladies that has like 55 cats. <laughs> No, and it is very serious, okay? Because, it? yes, it is. If a cat scratches a baby, they can get cat scratch fever. No, 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 no. You know what I also read about baby scratching cats and getting that baby scratch fever? So okay, I, it's not I, funny. I, it's... I know. I look, okay, I know it sounds ridiculous, mm -hmm. but it just didn't feel right. Hmm. Okay. Hey, Peyton. Hey, cutie. Hi. Um, Don't give her a big head. Look, I know what it's like to have a big sister who is insane, okay? But remember, you need patience and understanding so they come around. Thanks for that. That's great. You know, my mom left me, like, several messages. I'm ignoring them did right she? now. Did yeah. she? Do you think she contacted the FBI yet? Or I don't just, know. Maybe mm, she's too busy. Maybe. I was supposed to drop her off this morning. All right, you know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to go over there with you, okay? If everything checks out, Peyton stays. If not, we come back here and we... Talk to swans. You don't have to do that. I owe you. That's true. Hmm. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> 